This one sold for ten thousand dollars. It's a stick. It's a base model, but it's the heinous color. Like it's the a colors would held this back. Fire color. It's a sick color, dude. <laughs> that is not a good color, dude. I would <laughs> rock color that. is money. Break necks with this color. People who look for subtlety in their cars, why don't you just fucking dig a six foot hole and lay down? Like, what's the <laughs> point of living? It's a yellow sports car, and I think it's pretty sweet. It's a yellow convertible sports car. It's a yellow mid engine convertible manual sports car for ten grand. Finally, a connoisseur, a man of culture. This, I wouldn't. I would not. God, dude. If you told me like, okay, now you have to drive this yellow Boxster across the U.S., I would be so fucking sad. <laughs> All right, I think that we actually have to do something that has some sort of... Structure. Yeah, we need something with structure. All right, we're going to look at 986 Boxsters today. Yo, is everybody about to be upset? We're going to look at some Porsches? Yeah. <laughs> look at some Porsches? Let's do this. All right, let's... Ooh deal with it all right but no Ooh, all right but he makes but he makes a good point for the 10 grand that this is going to cost you for a clap one let's look at good ones let's only look at non -shits. it's a better miata i mean yeah. everybody's going to think you're a dentist but it's a better miata it is a better miata i'd rather be seen in a miata honestly I was gonna say is it a better mr2 though yeah it's, it's a better yeah, mr2 100%. it's a mr2 with 50 percent more horsepower there's nothing wrong with these I'd still, I'd rather get seen in an MR2. I would too. You just like, so you don't, do you just not like the Boxster or do you just not like German cars? He's afraid of the stigma that was oh, written in the Fast and the Furious era about these cars. Oh yes, I understand. And he just, he can't shake it because his brother would call him gay if he, if he buys a Boxster. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, he wouldn't be wrong. No, but... It's just, they're fine, dude. It's a they're fine. They are. It's a mid-engine car. It makes 225-ish horsepower at the minimum. There's nothing wrong with these. And being is meta now. It's got the runny egg headlight. It's yeah, that's, that's that's OP at this point, dude. It's the trick. You pull up to a job interview in a Boxster, you're going to get it. For the price that Miatas, especially NAs, are commanding right now, f*** it. I'll take a Porsche any day over that. Imagine picking up a girl on Tinder in a 240 that's rusted this shit. Or a Porsche anything. Yeah. Yeah. Women don't know that this is a shitty Porsche. They just know it's yeah. a Porsche. Yeah. They just know and it's, it's not, really not even a shitty Porsche. No, like, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do, do they? they? Do Ooh. they, though? Here's the first one. It's a 1998 Boxster for seven grand in Omaha, Nebraska with 72,000 miles. For the people interested in buying, the car will be available for show Saturday morning. I will post the address on Friday night. It is a rebuilt title. It's seven thousand dollars. If the listing is up, it hasn't sold yet. Only serious inquiries. No trade. And I don't like those like, headlights at all. Is he doing no. an open house? Woo! Yeah. Yo, damn, what so the... advanced. This thing from the future. <laughs> <laughs> it thinks it's a Tesla. That's cute. He's got to lose the headlight covers. Yeah, the headlight yeah. covers are They'll just like gross. A shit. Just accept the the Friday headlights. They're fine. Yeah. I don't like them, but like the covers are gross. This is worse. The covers make it worse. There's a stigma around the fried egg headlights too. Like a lot of people don't like those because, oh, it's the ugly 996 911, right? Embrace it. Embrace it. And also, hey, you get to look like a 911 for free. Yeah. Damn. True. Gets me every time I see one. I'm like, oh shit, there goes a 996 psych. <laughs> it's just like a boxer. A I hate the steering wheels. I hate the interior. I like the interior. Right. It's like pretty. Interior's fine. It's really yeah. straightforward and, and spark. Wow, wait, go back a picture. Yep. Oh, front end collision. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. It says it's a rebuild title, so this uh, thing yeah, got like fucked. It, yeah, yeah, like it's a rebuild title for sure, but like. But good catch. Yeah, it's got That fucked, looks fucked. like All right, I mean, we're going to downvote this one. Yeah, thumbs down on that one next. Here's a 2003 for $14,000, 78,000 miles. Excellent condition, needs a new owner. And it says this it's feels like a Sorry, this feels like a Doug and Bits car. Let's see what they run for on that site. First of all, this as a baseline looks fucked up. Like the yeah. line, nothing yep. matches up. This is a different color. Let's see if we can confirm that from another angle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's yes. all yeah. Something's fucked up there but it also is an automatic so that's gonna be a thumbs down let's see what these go yeah. for on cars and bids real quick this one sold for ten thousand dollars just a few days ago with a hundred thousand miles approximate and Perfect. It's, a, it's a stick it's a base model there you go but it's the heinous color like it's, yeah. it's the colors would held this back fire that's color. a sick color dude that's a, that I, is I, not I, a I like color, color, color. Dude. i would <laughs> rock color that. is money yeah this color is straight cash subtlety yellow <laughs> 
break necks with this color. People who look for subtlety in their cars, why don't you just fucking dig a six foot hole and lay down? Like, what's the point <laughs> of living? This is like buying Gucci slides and making that like the fucking center of your fashion wardrobe. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'll go yeah. for what you're saying, but it's a yellow sports car, and I, I think it's pretty sweet. It's a yellow convertible sports car. Yeah. It's a good yellow tone. It's not like piss it's yellow. It's a yellow mid-engine convertible manual sports True. car for ten True. grand. Finally, a connoisseur. Finally. A man of culture. Yes, I, would, I would not. God, dude. All right, let's see what one that doesn't have 100000 on it goes for. If you told me, like, okay, Ned, you have to drive this yellow Boxster across the U.S., I would be so fucking sad. I'd be so gonna... happy. <laughs> Half the miles for 15000 bucks, And it's an S. Uh, you know what? I just changed my mind. I don't like that blue. I don't like that blue at all. Yeah, no, it don't look good. super old man. Yeah. It looks like my Baja. Yeah, it's an old man color. You're yeah. right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the all-new KYS bottle opener. Plasma cut from steel and finished with rust converter is available now at collectorcarfeed.com slash store. Very edgy. Sup? You want to talk some shit? Discord.gg slash feed. Start some shit, bitch. This one's 98 for 16. Okay, so the silver seems to have a premium, but also look at the color difference here, too. Ooh, maybe it's a plastic bumper. Yeah, like maybe it's the difference between, you know, like plastic and metal. Uh, yeah, I can, I can see that. Wheels are uh, gross. Interior color is gross. Steering wheel is gross. Shift knob is gross. It looks nasty. On this one? No. Oh, it's blue. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh. Oh. The shift knob oh. looks, like, looks like when you take your nutsack and twist it. <laughs> Testicular torsion. <laughs> Sick. Yup. All right. So, um, <laughs> all right. So basically, it's all over the place. But if you have a yellow one, it's worth less. Check out the pictures on this one. Oh, Jesus. Is that Damn. a picture of a picture of a picture? It's, it's like, yeah. yeah, it looks like it's pictures of, of actual pictures. <laughs> all right. Well, here's a 2001 Porsche Boxster. It is $10,800 a day ago in Cape Coral, Florida, with 84,000 miles. Beautiful white and black top Porsche Boxster in absolutely great condition. Is it an automatic? It is. Oh, terrible. This is a thumbs down. Yeah, right. Let's, let's just make sure every time that there's sticks before hey, even wait, looking at right, them. Wait, all right, but no, wait a minute. When did, and Vukas probably knows this better than I do, when did the PDK get good? Oh, never. <laughs> no, no, no. Some of the PDK shit is much better than the manuals. Like, like two 911 generations ago, I think. Yeah. So like, it's which, fairly, fairly, fairly recent. Yeah, I was going to say, so that would have been, like, mid-10s, wouldn't it? So, like, yeah, all of these yeah. automatics are shit. Yeah, yeah don't do I, it. I wouldn't fuck with an automatic from, from these. Yeah, not 2000s era or earlier. I probably wouldn't hit up Ormond Fine Autos either. It seems like the little bit that we've seen of the Boxsters, the bat rule is totally 100% in effect with this car. Buy it off bat. Don't buy it off on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, that is probably the case. But if you want to buy it off of Facebook, you go over to collectorcarfeed.com slash cars. Ooh, there they all are. Ooh, damn. Here is a 2003 Porsche Boxster, 13.9 Kalamazoo, Michigan, 72,000 miles, 222 horsepower, 2.7 liter flat six engine, five speed manual, cold AC, hot heat. I don't, this doesn't seem like a bad deal. It's in line, price, uh, miles wise, yeah. 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 I don't understand why this one's only, like, I, again, it, is color literally what's making these cars worth more money? Yes. Well, yes. color is what you look at. Uh, you bet, like, I'll take a black one. Then, you know, yeah, black's fine, whatever. No, I think this is pricing up because it's black. I think these are usually worth less because this, this is a base model box no, like, this should like be... if this was a yellow car this would be like seven grand tennis yeah okay i, I see. think that's I see about right low ball the shit out of this guy see what you can get he's had an animal walking on it or it's maybe a, that's a hand like print. i'm not sure could be a whole size person I'd, I'd give that one a take a look at it oh yeah for sure low ball the shit out of that dude here is a 1997 Porsche Boxster for 79.20 a day ago in Magnolia, Texas, 97,000 miles. Is it Sheesh. an automatic? No. It has a red Sheesh. interior. The interior is yikes on this one, but it is 7,900 OBO. Very nice Boxster. Just did synthetic oil change and air filter. New floor mats and shifter gator too. Headlights are new and front and rear bumper have recently been repainted. Not a good sign quite a few new parts for the convertible top gears bushings etc top window is clear and in good condition aos and water pump were done not long ago just replace the mass airflow sensor too i also have the original wheels and tires airbag lights on i don't know what the issue is 
my code reader will not show Porsche airbag issues, and the radio mm-hmm. stopped working. So we got some issues here, but it is seventy nine hundred bucks. The interior this is, is awful. solid, solid. Go look at it. Woo. I mean, it's For not sure. on, but imagine if they were all. <laughs> <laughs> imagine if it was lit up like a Christmas tree. But that, no, that's not a bad deal. No, especially that's OBO. And no, and you yeah, know what? Yeah. I don't mind the red interior. I would drive it with the red interior with this. I don't hate it. Ugh. I don't hate it. I hate it. I bet this looks much better in person. Yeah, I, I would agree. No, I bet it looks worse. Because you're not going to be hyper-focused on the whole interior. Like, yeah. it's not going to be the only thing in your line of sight. You're also going to be breaking it up with some silver. Yeah, from out here, that red looks kind of tight. Yeah. But the black steering wheel? Oh. I like that. I like breaking this up. I wish yeah. it had more black in it. Like, I wish the top half of the dash was black. Or, like, the top of the pod. That'd be sick. Yeah. That would do it. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Got some issues there, but... You know, you don't need an airbag. Go look at it. Good dude. Yeah, don't be a bitch. <laughs> oh, same interior. Sick, though. This one's 17 grand for 71,000 miles. I don't miles, know what's worse, the red or the black steering wheel. Oh, the red's got worse. the hard top. Yeah, Wait, is this a hard top, too? Worse. Yeah. yeah, it's got the got the hat. It's, it's a removable hard top, yeah. Cope top. Yeah, it's the cope top. It don't, it don't look good on these. No, it really does not. It is no. an S, for what it's worth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Still too bit, much. A little bit more yeah. juice. Has the IMS bearing done already? That's good Sheesh. news. This one's boomer. Fuck kept. those ketchup guts, though, man. <laughs> the ketchup gut. Well, the red adds horsepower. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Orc mentality. Indeed. Look at the exhaust tips. Christ almighty. Yeah, those are pretty bad. What the fuck? That is I I just... not factory. That's um, some goofy. It looks like AutoZone yeah. tips, dude. It looks like the AutoZone tips that light up with the LEDs. And it's uh, 17000 for an S. This seems a... Seems a little high. It but, seems uh, a much. little high. Maybe like 15. Yeah. The red steering wheel really is bad. That is not aged well. Yeah. It's hard on the eyes. All right. Well, this one is awful, but it is a stick. I like that color. I'm you Ron like, Burgundy. You like this burgundy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of Damien Monty. Oh, I see. This was the color my Miata was, so. Yeah, this is kind of the color my Miata is. With the black interior, 95,000 miles, $9,000. Base model. The Dodge Caravan Red. Yeah. Yeah. But under $10,000, over 200 horsepower. Yeah. Not a lot to complain about here. Price is good. You could probably talk them down a little bit. It doesn't seem like it'd be a bad car to pick up, especially now it's coming into spring. Oh, yeah, true. Check out. Do they all look like this with the top up? Like this much? Like Yeah. That looks like shit. Well, they are. They arc up because, you know, well, it's people. a box. It's a gem. And <sighs> <laughs> Just don't put the top up. I don't think they all look like that. This one doesn't look like that. It's way got yeah, way bigger. Oh, wait. Window. Yo, yeah. Or maybe that's a replaced top, and I, mm. I'm just f***ing talking out my ass. I don't know. Yeah, it's one of the two. Maybe there's... One of the there, two. There, could, there could be glass window years and plastic window years. Read that description with enthusiasm. This Porsche Boxster Roadster captures the true essence of a sports car in an effortless silver paint scheme. <laughs> Motivated by a spirited 2.7 liter six cylinder generating 217 horsepower while connected to a five speed manual transmission to put the power in your hands. This road hugging rear wheel drive Porsche <laughs> is ready to earn up to 27 miles per gallon on the highway with the convertible top turning heads along the way. Smart this design features AI. are all over this Boxster. The CarPlay audio and navigation system plays your favorite tunes while you settle oh, into shit. leather-trimmed power God bucket damn. seats and feel the wind in your hair. Backup camera included. That's enough. Chat GPT, write me a Porsche Boxster description. That's exactly what that reads like. <laughs> 15 grand, 58,000 miles. We cannot be bothered to polish these headlights or wipe the dust off of this car. Yeah, f*** this. <laughs> I gotta say no on this one, dude. It got CarPlay, though. Do you live in a society, but belong in a society? Do you play bass guitar, but wish you were blasting trumpets? Fear not, rude boy. A benevolent god has created Collector Car Feed, bestowed onto you. At CollectorCarFeed.com, when you search for Facebook Marketplace 350Zs, you get a list of Facebook Marketplace 350Zs. No Altimas, no V6 Mustangs, no Kia Souls. Just exactly the f***ing car you f***ing wanted to see every f***ing time. Thanks to Collector Car Feed, I got my very own 350Z without all the headache of using Facebook Marketplace. I'm blasting trumpets, throwing that sh** sideways, getting doors, and deaf as fuck. The ladies love it too. I'm plowing more beaver than a reckless riverboat captain. Thanks, Collector Car Feed. Collect-
CollectorCarFeed.com. Lock up your daughters, or they're coming home pregnant. Here we have the best color for eleven thousand dollars. Hell yeah! Thousand miles. This is basically matching the ones that we just saw in cars and beds, price wise. What a good color. The color is f***ing fire. Dude, if I had dude. ten grand it's, to blow on a car, I would. Uh, I would seriously consider this. Yeah. Imagine like, this with the red interior. L O L. The McDonald's, McDonald's edition. Car. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, <laughs> no. The ketchup and mustard. I think in the right light. This yellow doesn't look bad. Like this light, it's not terrible. But like the Doug and Bids pictures, I wasn't entirely sold on it. But like this isn't bad. Sometimes it can look really school bussy on certain cars, but I think that the Boxster's pulling it off pretty well. Looks good. What if C's, What if CCF bought a yellow Boxster and made a Crazy Taxi tribute car? <laughs> yeah go on and then we uber with it we could pick up uh hikers on the appalachian trail with it yeah yeah and kill them <laughs> is that what he's doing with those guys <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> oh this one has apple carplay too nice i'm sold here uh this one looks <laughs> awful it does is that painted on the then the wheel Ugh. i'm not sure is what's that like going a paintbrush on? just slapped onto the oh yeah what the f well, it's a stock a Porsche wheel with like a, a yellow that's on all of them. That looks hand done. Go to the CCF search for these and just limit it by like 5,000 bucks. Let's see what, what the it's, good shit is. The, the cheap shit. The cheap yeah. shit. Yeah, the the get... stuff that competes with the Miata. Here are the bargain 986s. This is a 2000 yeah. Porsche Boxster <laughs> listed a day ago. It already sold. This was in Vail, North Carolina. This Porsche has not been started in a year, so I would think it would need to be jumped or get a new battery. My son drove the car every day to work with no problems. The back window needs to be re-glued. My son was working on the interior of the car when he passed away. Oh. 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 Uh. Uh, so was the car haunted? <laughs> no, come on now. <laughs> All right, so this one's a sad story, and um, somebody somebody made off like a bandit. For real. 97 Porsche Boxster, $3,000 in Kingman, Arizona, five days ago, 113,000 miles. Needs a new engine or this one rebuilt. That's going to be a no for me, Doug. Yep. It's going to be a big no. Still three yep. grand? It's got a blown... Oh, it's got a... Ooh. There's the engine. Oh, does he have an engine? It's in a bag on a pallet. Uh, with saran wrap oh it's already oh it's already out i see I she get done it. dude it's over yeah next here is Three grand for a shell seems too much paint shot bought from someone with the intent to clean it up only to find out the ims bearings Ooh, have been blown no. Rip. that's the end it, that needs an engine too into the road that's probably what took the other one out yeah that's a no dice. This one's forty five hundred bucks. No description. Two hundred thirty eight thousand miles. Jesus Christ! Some of these That's have crazy miles. miles on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll do it. You know, Porsches can get way the f up there. Yeah, it's that German reliability. Somebody drove the f out of this thing in Florida. They just daily drove it like a Miata. I mean, yeah. it's it is a daily drivable car. Yeah, yeah. You can get Miatas with this many miles for this much money yeah they're like the same damn car except this one will yeah. cost you a miata to fix whereas a miata actually but no not. but like wait a minute though this car is a what it's a 99 so all right this car's 22 years old that's twelve thousand miles a year that's accurate mileage for the year yeah yeah just daily driven yeah that's daily driven right there if it ain't broke yet it won't break Right. Here's the final Boxster we'll look at this evening. It has 85,000 miles. It's already sold, so don't get your hopes up too high. 4,500 bucks, 98 Boxster in Aurora, Colorado. Got this as a project. Don't have the time. Prices OBO, no trades. Clean title. Supercharged 986 Boxster 5-speed hey. manual. Runs and drives, but overheats. Haven't gotten a diagnosis yet. Paint is rough, as is the Fast and Furious front bumper, but the body has no major dents or rust. The seats and interior are pretty decent with wear, but no tears or cracks. Electric top works, blah, blah, blah. It's a supercharged, apparently. Supercharged? Overheating. At least he knows the bumper's ugly. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you right up front, this is an ugly car. <laughs> <laughs> but it's I'm supercharged. Sorry. I mean, he's not wrong, but... Could you, could you yeah. drive an ugly car that was supercharged? You could fix an ugly car that was supercharged, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. This looks like a mess. He's got that. He's got that based radio. Oh, the Continental, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Uh, the the four chan recommends. Yeah. Yeah, they love that thing. If they had a car, anyway, that's what they yeah. probably want. Yeah, they keep trying <laughs> to install this on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna say that was probably a bad deal, but um, you know, 
He took no, it. Like, so. Well, so, all right, but what did we learn here today, children? That for the price of a nice, clean N.A. Miata, you could buy a Porsche. Yeah. I don't even know if you can get a clean N.A. Miata for 4500 bucks. Well, you won't get a clean Porsche for 4500 bucks either, but... This is also true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for like ten grand, if you put a ten grand sticker on it, you could get an NA Miata, or you could get, I don't know, a Porsche with seventy thousand miles. It yeah. might be yellow, but that's fine. Honestly, I like Great. the yellow Miatas too. Yeah. So there you go. 